Hello and welcome to another street photography video with me, Nick Turpin. Today I'm shooting in the northeastern Italian town of Trieste. So I'm in Trieste for Trieste Photo Days. Uh, this is a uh, festival, month-long festival, and this is the opening weekend. I'm here as a guest of the festival along with uh, Martin Parr, who I think is another street photographer, I've, I've heard of him. Um, I'm gonna be doing a workshop uh, for a couple of days uh, that's sold out, and I have uh, a talk on Sunday at three o'clock, so I've got a few things to do, but I'm hoping to get some street photography in while I am here. This is very nice. Some figures. I love that sculpture up on the uh, the top there, against the sky. The guy, the guy up is quite nice, and that big rectangle. So I just have the feeling that something's going to happen here. I like the uh, the sheet of plastic on the ground here. Sometimes just predict what's going to happen. Here we go. Oh no, change your mind. Just the arrangement of the figures is nice. Crouch down slightly, keeping my verticals upright. Workmen are often a good thing to hang around. It doesn't matter what city you're in, whether you're in London or away. And that, just that shape on the ground is quite nice. There's also a workman up on the roof, you know, kind of hoping he might pop into shot. If I move over here, you can see him. But he's just a head and shoulders at the moment. So I'm, um, I'm standing sideways to this shot, so I'm trying to kind of not address it, which is something I often do. So obviously Trest, uh, beautiful architecture, especially in the sunshine, it's always easier to take street photographs in nice weather. This is my girlfriend Alice who gets dragged around and has to sit doing her Instagram while I spend 40 minutes taking photographs. <laughs> so I'm just being patient because I really have a sense that something's going to happen here. I mean this piece of plastic looks kind of bluish and obviously there's a blue sky up there with that uh, sculpture against it. And when they put that up it could be blue and blue. I just got a feeling something nice will happen. And even that guy there doing that there against the rectangle. It's quite nice. It's a bit simple. Needs, needs more than that, but compositionally, why not? Behind me over here, there's another scene happening at the same time. Nice columns and shadows, figures walking through. Nice composition, wait for that guy just to be against that white bit there. Here we go, there we go, quite nice. Oh, need to change my battery. And they've got it up, I missed it. Okay, I was changing battery, that was an inopportune moment. That happens occasionally. So there's my blue, blue square, there we go. There's hands. It's all about the hands, keeping that sculpture in. Blue sky, blue board. Just a nice arrangement. Three figures, not two. Three figures then. The dog just flat out. Very nice. Little dialogue between the sculpture there in the alcove and the lady with the dog. Dogs in the sunshine. A simple picture quite nice if you crop the pillar to the left there if you leave a gap down the side your eye goes out of the picture but if you move the camera over it keeps the eye in so I've got the sculpture and the lady with the dog they're static figures and I can wait for other things to walk in and out of the frame 
quite nice when somebody walks close by the camera. Oh look, someone stopped to look at the dog. Can I touch your dog? Does he bite? So I'm back busting focusing on the sculpture. I've got F11 here, so I've got plenty of depth of field. Someone coming out the doorway. So there's a bare bones of a scene here and I'm just waiting. She's using her phone. She's hardly really noticed me. Guy coming out the door is nice. When people come out the door, they just get a bit of light on them. Shadow there, shadow. Could just do with something, something else. Okay, there's a whole tour group coming now. Maybe I can shoot over the top of them or between them at the dog. Oh, look, there's another dog, another dog coming. Out. Oh, now it's happening. Dog wars. So, focusing on the dog lady, shoot between the gap. There's a little dog drama going on there now. Maybe I'll do something symmetrical now with those two. It's like doggy love going on here. But I'm gonna keep my composition because my composition was nice. Discipline over your composition. You find something nice that works like that. Often pays to maintain it, regardless of what's happening in the frame. It's very easy to come over here, lose your composition and get more dog in. But um, they're in the shadow at the moment, the dogs, not great for me. So the dogs are being a little aggressive towards each other. It's just a shame they're right in the shade there. It's not good for a photograph. For once the light, the light is against me. There's a flag in the foreground here. Oh look, fighting dogs. And that flag sort of adds something in the foreground now. It just adds a whole, more, another layer to the picture. Oh, they're going for it. Guy with his head cut off. See, look, the composition's growing now. What's this guy doing? Pointing, nice shadows, look. I like their shadows on the ground. The dog's still got dog's ass. And she's off. And it's all over there, they all walk off. Now walk right back around the corner to here. Now look at these guys. Back again. Now just just want to get that sculpture in. Here we go now, look. That's nice. Look at that. Look at that. Lovely. Love those hands and arms. Patience paid off and a bit of predicting what's going to happen. Changing all the time. There's another guy up there, look now as well. Look at that, that's lovely. Simple, such a simple picture, but keep that rectangle in the middle. They're patting that thing down and sticking it on. <laughs> I mean, really, it's a picture out of nothing, it's some workmen cladding some steel boxes but you know I really like it it's a bit of sunshine probably the number one rule of street photography is uh, is don't take your girlfriend with you puts the pressure on <laughs> I quite like this little fringe of bushes here just missed that guy really I think I needed him a bit earlier but I like that I was just framing up do you know what I mean? It just gives you a bottom to the picture. And then you've got that view out beyond, something in the foreground. Too simple, but it's, it's a stage you could use. Here's a guy coming, might walk into the frame. Back button focus on him. Get my nice green fringe at the bottom. Mm. It's not enough, is it? It's just not enough people around here at this little spot. But the background's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful scene. Here's a nice little scene. I like these three guys here. And there's that little fringe of hedge that I mentioned earlier in the foreground. And just add something. Look, they're nice, popped against the sea there. 
those two silver binoculars. And that pier going off with all those little figures on, that's very nice, isn't it? And they're just in that little space there where the pier's going off to the left, look. And there's a little space, crouch a little, get that green fringe in. And when they're spaced out, they're really nice. Look now, when they're not overlapping those two boys. Bogey in shot. Okay, there we go, there's my picture again. Just got that lamppost on the right-hand side. People walking in again. So as a street photographer, I think, you know, with the rectangle and the shutter button, I should be able to make a nice picture out of anything, really. Um, but often, of course, it's a challenge. You need to see the, the possibilities. But, you know, in a place like Trieste, on a day like today, there's no excuse for not taking great photographs. Uh, I mean, look, the sea is absolutely calm and beautiful. Uh, it's a very graphic environment. You know, shadows, figures, there's a lot to play with. It's just about a matter of arranging those things in the frame in a nice way, a pleasing way. And like I've said to you before, when you're out taking great pictures, sorry, when you're out taking good pictures, uh, that's when the great ones happen. So you've got to be out making these compositions, spotting these things, arranging things in the frame, and every now and then something wonderful will happen and just elevate your picture into something else. You never know what it's going to be. But you know it when you see it. So I've come up to the end of the pier, and of course it's very minimal. I'm just going to try and arrange these people so that they're not overlapping. There's a lot of them, but I can bring order to this scene by the way that I place them, left to right. And if I can get them not overlapping, it looks deliberate. Maybe if I lose those two, come a little closer here. bit more space between them on the left. See, he's good looking, looking out to the left there, isn't he? He's enjoying the, the sun. God, this is better than shooting in Croydon, isn't it? That sailing boat's very nice. Lady walking in. I'll just let her go to the right-hand side, if she does. Just clear that. There's people there. There she is. Where's she going to go? She's going to walk into that gap nicely. A little shadow on the left. So these new new people are arriving. Let that guy walk into that space. Keep going, dude. Keep going. There we go. Look, 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 look. That's nice. That's nice. Very nice arrangement. Oh my god, what's going on here? Just missed that. So just playing with groups here. Now just whittled it down to those three. But the feet up are quite nice and the sailing boat in the distance. A little group here. So it'd be nice if that, that lady put her legs up in the air again. That was fun, wasn't it? I'll just make that special. Often if people do things once, they will do it again. So it's worth waiting and watching. So I'm watching this little group, but obviously I'm keeping an eye on what else is happening around me. Not the only photographer here this morning. Getting a nice holiday picture of the wife there. Keeping an eye on these three though. So obviously looking towards the sunshine, uh, there's a nice clear sea behind. This way it's full of reflections and darker, so people don't pop against it so nicely. You see that guy there? doesn't stand out as well as well as people do in this direction there's a guy walking in here ah, that guy was in the way did you see that I told you she'd stick her legs in the air again didn't I if you see somebody yawn wait 60 seconds and chances are they'll yawn again often people repeat behaviors so obviously her legs are a bit stiff on this bench like that, so every now and then she strains them out. It's happened twice now, unfortunately that guy, first time I saw it, second time, 
that guy was in the way. I may have got something, but he wasn't nice in the composition. So maybe there'll be a third opportunity. There we go. Now that couple are leaving, so my composition is going to change. Yeah, you see, I've lost an, lost an element now with that three couple of the, th the other couple there. They were nice, they filled that gap in the middle nicely. Now it's a bit bereft, my composition's a bit empty. There you go. Maybe that's quite nice and poetic. A single sailing boat. And they're nice, small, middle and large. If they all look to the right. There we go, look. Lovely tones. See like a mill pond. Now the sailing boat's become more prominent now. It's like a third element. I'm still waiting for this lady to stretch her leg again. Nice with the boy pointing. So this is just an arrangement of elements in the frame, obviously. So I'm taking it getting tighter and tighter. Keeping the camera upright, so I'm bending over to keep the camera upright. It'd be nice to have just a separation between the small boy and the middle boy. And I want the sailboat between the guy standing and the three boys. Equidistant. There we go, there's a bit of space. That's it, there we look, 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 look. look. Very nice. It's just a pretty picture, but I like it. You know, it's not going to get any better than unless a damn dolphin leaps out of the water. So I've been drawn by these sails, which I saw a distance off in the harbour. Uh, they're nicely backlit. Catching the light. One in the foreground and some in the harbour behind. It just seems to have possibilities for a picture. Uh, I rather, rather like the lighthouse in the background. The sail close to the camera is quite nice. The lettering. Got nice and stopped down, it's got lots of depth of field. Oh, not too far. Nice, lots going on there. I like that sail at an angle catching the light, that sailing boat on the left. Gorgeous background there with those sailing boats. Constantly changing little figures on the water. And then the figures in the foreground dismantling the boat. Now I've got some scale stuff going on. Little guy down there, look. That's nice.
two sails echoing each other there, like the writing, like the backlit. That's nice, look at that. Always against the backdrop of these little sailing boats in that harbour, look. And the guy sitting down there is really good. <coughs> Look, he's lying down, he's lying down now. So I'm focusing on him because he's kind of in the midpoint. His sail is brilliant, just needs something good in the foreground. I managed to get a little closer. It's a little shady down there, but I love that la lighthouse in the middle. A couple of boats coming towards me now, which just gives me a little bit of foreground detail. It's just kind of poetic, isn't it? You know, street photography can just be beautiful. Now the sun's just catching, catching that kid in the foreground. Wow, that kid in front of the sail now is just giving me that focus point I need. There's a lighthouse still in the background. The kid will just stand up in front of that sail. Look at that, it's lovely isn't it? What a beautiful little happening. Oh, look at the sails lined up. kids in front of the sail now. Nice light in the foreground. Look, 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 look. I don't know what to look at, there's so much. There's a nice composition there. With that kid bottom left hand corner is a nice anchor for the picture, look. What a poetic picture of an idyllic childhood <laughs> sailing on the Mediterranean and still in the background look from that kid in the bottom left hand corner to the lighthouse top right a line of boats they're catching the sun in the background in the foreground all that lettering is lovely gosh beautiful and him in the light there, that child holding the sails in the light, just a focal point. How lucky am I with that? Oh, wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Every now and then I get a glimpse of a child through the, the gaps in the sails. So be careful I don't fall in the water here. Look at them. There's, there's little figures, the lovely sails, the lighting, the typography, the lighthouse still in the top right hand corner, which is important even though it's way in the distance there. Still a few sailing boats behind them. Oh my god. I'm going to retire. Now they're pulling the boat up in the foreground. I'm just moving back slightly. There's lovely effort when they pull the boat up the ramp. Oh, what a time these kids are having. There goes the, there goes the trailer again. All those masts behind. So I'm just trying to frame it nicely at the moment. Keep it tight. Not too much space around. There's a guy walking behind on the wall there. Let's get him in that gap. Any little extra information I can get in the shot. That kid on the left in the boat's nice, silhouette against the sail. He's pulling that up now. There's a boat going off to the right. I'm walking backwards, don't know what's behind me. It's been a terrific few days here at the uh, Trieste Photo Days Festival, which focuses on uh, urban, urban photography. Um, 
you know, I've been very busy handing out awards, um, doing a workshop, doing a talk. Um, that's all been fantastic. I had a little bit of time uh, to get out on the streets and shoot for myself. The weather's been incredible. We've been so lucky with that. Um, it's a beautiful city, fantastic architecture, uh, right on the edge uh, you know, of the sea. Um, so it's been quite aesthetic. You know, it's, been, it's been a nice place to make pictures to walk around. Uh, the other guest at the festival was Martin Palm. Um, so I was staying in the same, same apartments as him, I had breakfast with him a couple of mornings and managed to talk about street photography a little bit. Um, that, was, um, that was very nice. He turns out to be a really smashing bloke. I couldn't persuade him to, uh, to put that flash gun down. I, I, I just, you know, I tried, I tried. But uh, anyway, we got on really well, so that was really nice. Um, so I'm really looking forward to next year's festival already. Um, heading back to London this evening and uh, I'll have a little edit, see what I, see what I got on the streets here. Um, I also uh, shot a little bit with uh, Ryan Hardman, he's a photographer from uh, Devon and he's been shooting a project about Plymouth and I've been helping mentoring, mentoring him a little bit about that um, and so that was fun, he's, he, he was out taking pictures as well. So, um, and there's, uh, the other really nice thing was it's just such an amazing community of street photographers now. I mean the, the whole event was really well attended, um, lots of young people, people who travel a long way to come, to come here, that was really nice, people getting on trains from their photography courses, travelling four or five hours. Um, you know, to come and to come and see the photography, meet the photographers. Uh, so you know, street photography is thriving. It's it's good to see. Uh, anyway, heading back now. Got to go to catch a train, get to the airport. I'm working tomorrow in London for two days for Transport for London, shooting a commercial job. So uh, I guess this will have to wait till the end of the week before I can post this video. But uh, in the meantime, you guys can grab your own cameras and, and get out there.